We know that the plane was travelling at an altitude of 10 kilometers, that's just over six miles, when it was downed. The Ukrainian Interior Ministry said a missile was fired by a book system. This is a tracked vehicle that can fire missiles up to 14,000 meters in the air with a range of 45 kilometers. Both Russian and Ukrainian forces have these systems. So the SA-11 is a tank with four very large um, surface-to-air missiles on the back. Uh, it's also got an integrated and quite powerful phased array radar um, as a, a part of the, the sort of whole setup. Um, and yet there have been unconfirmed sightings of SA-11s uh, around the Donetsk area in the last couple of days. So it's most likely to have been the, uh, the system used to shoot this down. The book SA-11 has a powerful radar which would have been scanning 360 degrees for targets. Once they've decided on tracking and engaging a target, the pressure is then on to engage that target as fast as possible and then relocate. Even with that pressure, it would be difficult to mistake a fighter jet for a passenger plane. But military transports, which have been targeted recently, can appear similar. These are radar-guided missiles, so it will have uh, essentially gone up close to the, the main body of the aircraft and then detonated on proximity fuse of warhead, which will have you know, perforated the fuselage, the fuel tanks, engines, um, caused enough damage to take down the aircraft. And of course, civilian airliners are not armoured in any way, unlike military vehicles. The pilots, crew and passengers would have had no warning. But NATO satellites and reconnaissance planes have been watching the conflict area and will now be combing it for a telltale missile flash and radar signal to piece together what happened. Tom Cheshire, Sky News.